the big ones bite the tube. <laughs> Lake St. Clair smallmouth llama. Body barely hooked up. Hey, hey, hey. Boom! <laughs> Look at this thing, dude. Look oh. at that. That's a set. Giant. I'm not gonna hit that boat, am I? Yeah, you shut up, dog. No one wants to deal with your shit. No. Yeah, that one back I lost over there on the corner. The first one I had on, not the one that was up inside that hole. Big ones bite the tube. You mess with Willie. Why can't we have a fishery like this? I mean, I could come up here and literally never even fish for a small mouth and have a ball over it. For a couple days, I'm just fishing for a lot. Your hook's still there. So that was a little video guys from one of my favorite lakes in the country probably is my favorite lake in the country lake st Clair. 
Hey, and it's not just for the big small mouth that you see all the time. The large mouth fishing on Lake St. Clair is unbelievable. Um, I wish that we had a fishery like that in our backyard here um, because even if you're not going after those big bronze backs, the largemouth fishing is crazy. And to be honest with you, it's pretty untapped. There's not a lot of people going up there to catch them. Um, you can dive into these little canals off the main uh, lake and you can absolutely wreck them. And you can actually fish the shoreline on the main lake, a lot of the seawalls, the docks. Um, it's unbelievable how good the largemouth fishing is. Not a lot of big ones, but a lot of bites. And there are some good ones there too, but um, you're gonna catch a lot of 13, 14 inch fish. Um, but there are still some two and a half, three, four pounders swimming around. One thing I did notice up there, I'm not sure that they see a Nico rig or a stupid tube very often at all. Two of my favorite baits to throw. It works great on pressured fish. It works great uh, on aggressive fish. It really doesn't matter. Um, it gets bites. Uh, tough days, it's my go-to because it will get you the bites you need. So, uh, But if you ever get a chance to go up to Lake St. Clair, you have to do it. Speaking of have to, you have to hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber to the channel. Help us continue to grow the channel. I wish I had more time to put into this thing because I really do enjoy doing it um, and bringing you guys some content, whether it's teaching or just kind of some travel stuff and from one lake to the other if you want to learn about one lake specific. Um, I want to try to bring that to you. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Share it with anybody else that you think would enjoy our content and encourage them to do the same. Uh, in the comments, let me know if there's a lake specific uh, that you guys want me to break down or give some more info on, even if it's a lake I've never been to. I may try to take the time to travel to it uh, if long as it's within kind of the region here, southern Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, Kentucky, if you guys know of any lakes that you want to see, or if you have any specific baits that you want me to cover, drop those in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Y'all take care.